we're in a period of uncertainty. I don't think any of us really know or can predict the impact that Brexit is going to have. I, I think locally in Ireland there will be sectors that benefit from Brexit, financial services absolutely, but I can clearly see the challenges the agricultural sector uh, may have. And, and I think tourism will be heavily impacted on what happens to exchange rates. As a proud Brit, I, I so regret the decision to leave Europe and I think the UK is in for a rough few years. Unfortunately, I think the UK struggling has to have an impact on Europe as well. Well, I think um, it's really easy to be too pessimistic. And I think all of us 18 months ago, post the election of Trump, thought that that was going to be a negative from a global perspective. And I'm not saying that I like the man or I agree with a lot of what he says, but if you look at the, the way markets have behaved in the last 18 months, it clearly hasn't been a negative. I think the stability in Germany is a good thing. Um, and clearly, I think the EU is going to have to change the way it operates. I mean, I think the vote in the UK has demonstrated that the EU have a, an issue in how it's perceived. I don't see anything changing to make Ireland less attractive. More broadly, you know, the attractiveness of Irish workers, they work hard, um, they're very open-minded, they're very adaptable to change. I think um, if you were an organisation that was potentially looking to put businesses or build an operation in the UK, I think Ireland has to be a natural alternative now. My dad, when I was just turned 16, told me that he wasn't going to let me to get, go to college and to go and get a job and um, I started work at uh, Barclays Bank, three months short of my 17th birthday. And at the time, um, he and I fell out big time for a, for a little while, but it was the best piece of advice I was ever given. So, uh, firstly, it set me up for a career in finance, and 30-odd you know, years later, um, I'm still in finance. Um, I, I think, with hindsight, he recognised that I'd have been an awful student. having spent lots of time in Limerick, obviously lots of time in Dublin, but have also traveled around the country extensively. I, I think, yes, there absolutely is. And I think the IDA and I think the government are well aware of that. And I think they're doing all the right things to try and even that out, but it takes time.